Bonjour. Sadly, I'm not in Paris anymore. Right now, I'm back in Rome, and my Erasmus experience in 10 months ended. But I'm here to tell you about my experience, how it changed me, and how I met my first boyfriend ever in Paris. But first, let me tell you what happened before my Erasmus experience started. I had one week trip with my family in Paris, and I also celebrate my birthday there. It was time to pack and move to my new apartment. I was excited and scared at the same time. It was my first time going to live by myself for 10 months in Paris. I will say my university life was quite boring, but it was what every student was living, so I guess it was normal. I came to Paris to study Chinese and all the classes were in French, so at the beginning I struggled a lot and I could understand only 20 to 30% of what they were saying. But teachers were still nice to me because they tried to help me and they understood my situation. But apart from my boring normal university life, I also traveled in France and outside France. My first trip ever was in Giverny with friends that I met at university. After I went to Amiens in the north of France and we made Baozi, Chinese dumplings. <laughs> so, in my other hand, <laughs> then I went to Rouen in the north of France in Normandy and it was my first trip with my boyfriend. But how I met my boyfriend, actually at some point I was like, I don't have nothing to lose, let's give a try. I wrote on his board because he was a roommate of a friend of mine. After that he contacted me on Instagram, we started to talk, we had some dates and at some point we decided to date. At the beginning it was nothing serious because we knew that I had to go back to Rome and he didn't know about his life in Paris. So we were like, okay, let's just date it. After that, everything became more serious and right now we are in a long distance relationship and he's coming to visit me in three days. And somehow his passion for climbing arrived to me. But I guess climbing didn't win over my laziness and me loving staying at home. I don't know how many times I took the plane, but I came back to Rome twice. The first time was during Christmas, and the second time I broke with me my boyfriend. Then I went to Milan to celebrate my friend's birthday. The day after, I came back to my Parisian life. The 
Netherlands was my last trip. My first stop was in The Hague, where I came to visit a friend, and then with my boyfriend, I went to Amsterdam. Once I was back in Paris, I enjoyed my last moments there. Overall, I will say that is experience that I would like to live again because apart from my first relationship, my dreams, my friends, I learned a lot about myself. I will say that I'm grateful for this experience. De partir n'importe où, bras dessus, bras dessous, en chantant des chansons, c'est si bon. In conclusion, I would like to thank you to everyone who made this experience unforgettable. A special thanks goes to my family, my partner, my new and old friends because they were always there to support me and still now they are supporting me.